A volcano on Russia's far eastern Kamchatka Peninsula has erupted for the first time in more than 500 years, just days after a powerful 8.8 magnitude earthquake struck the region, triggering tsunami waves in Japan and Alaska. Russia 극동 어, 캄차카 반도의 화산이 500여 년 만에 폭발했습니다. 이번 분화는 이곳에서 규모 8.8의 강진이 발생해 일본과 알래스카의 쓰나미 경보가 내려진 지 사흘 만의 일입니다. What do we know? Well, we know that we had this this big 8.8 magnitude earthquake. Mm-hmm. We had these tsunami waves. Japan was on alert. Alaska was on alert. So was Hawaii um, and also areas in Central America and towards New Zealand. And then, just days afterwards, we had this volcano. It's called the Krasheninikov volcano, and it erupted. It seemed to be dormant, 500 years, exactly. never erupted. Mm. And yet this earthquake seems, I mean, we'll have to see what the scientists say, but seems yeah. to have triggered it. Um, it sent ash nearly six kilometers into the sky. Um, it's still active. The activity mm. is decreasing, but the response team there have said that there could be moderate explosive activity in the near future. So uh, right. I, I, hopefully everybody in the area is safe, um, but certainly I don't think anybody was, well, anybody was expecting this, earth, uh, this earthquake to cause an eruption like this. Exactly. It seems to affect a lot of areas. It's not just a, a small um, earthquake that we're talking about, the 8.8 magnitude yes. one that happened Uh, just days before this volcano erupted. So tell us about the expression just days before or just days after. Yeah, uh, well, it just means something is happening or, mm. or something is done after, a few days after. But it's the just that's important here. Yeah. Because the just is e m p h a s i z i n g that it happened very quickly mm. and also happened very suddenly. Maybe mm. it was something unexpected or maybe it was something very big, but yeah. just days after or just days before, we're e m p h a s i z i n g the fact it's very mm. close in time to this other thing. Yeah. And without saying exactly how many days, if you hear just days after, you would imagine it's maybe two days, three days, exactly. not many days. I, I would say less than a week. Yeah. Just days after. 불과 며칠 만에 이런 뜻이 되겠죠? You could say just days before. 그러면은 바로 며칠 전에. Yeah. 그러니까 정말 얼마 안 됐다라는 걸 강조하기 위해서 just. 자, 다음으로 trigger. Well, if something triggers something else, mm. it uh, starts it. Yeah. It gets it yeah. going. It gives a spark or sets it off. Mm. Think of a trigger on a gun. A gun's trigger, when you pull the trigger, the gun fires. Mm-hmm. So if something triggers something else, it makes it do something. Mm, 그렇죠. 그 권총에 있는 방아쇠를 trigger라고 하는데요. 방아쇠를 당기는 것이 이제 동사 trigger가 되겠습니다. 아, 무언가 일어나게 하는 거죠. 유발하다, 뭐 촉발하다 의미로도 쓰고요. In this case, we're talking about the earthquake that happened first. Yes. And then that, it looks like it triggered the volcano eruption. Uh, but in our headline, it mm. triggered tsunami waves. Oh, sorry, okay. Yes. Uh-huh. It also triggered the volcano, but, oh, but, see, in, but in the context of our right. headline, we're talking about the earthquake then triggered mm. tsunami waves immediately. Good point. All right, well, here's the headline one more time. A volcano on Russia's far eastern Kamchatka Peninsula has erupted for the first time in more than 500 years, just days after a powerful 8.8 magnitude earthquake struck the region, triggering tsunami waves in Japan and Alaska. Let's move on to the next headline. A new study suggests that people who consume the most ultra-processed foods have a 41% higher risk of being diagnosed with lung cancer than those who consume the least, even after accounting for factors like smoking. 초가공식품을 많이 섭취하는 사람은 흡연 등의 다른 변수를 고려하더라도 이를 적게 섭취하는 사람보다 폐암 발병 위험이 최대 41% 높아진다는 연구 결과가 나왔습니다. Okay, so we know that it's not good to, you know, always eat processed foods. But now, of course, studies show that if you're an avid eater of ultra-processed goods, that's yes. really bad for you. So we're talking, about, we're talking about these foods that have gone through a factory process or some cooking process where ingredients that you wouldn't normally use in basic cookery mm-hmm. uh, or other additives to add flavor or preservatives to keep them fresh or keep it edible, we're, we're talking like sodas. 
cans of sodas, we're talking about bags of chips, we're talking about the uh, pre-packaged soups or other meals, yeah. ice creams, those kind of things that have all sorts of different additives in them. Can be dangerous for us, mm. um, and there, there was one one ingredient in particular, acrolein, um, which comes from when you burn tobacco, wood, plastics, or gasoline, or when you cook fats and oils at high temperatures. Mm. Um, that can have an impact. Now, in this study, they're not saying they can't definitively prove that these foods cause lung cancer. What they can say is there's a connection between the two. So right. more study needs to go on. Yes. We already knew that processed and ultra-processed foods were not great for us. Mm. This study is suggesting actually they could be much worse than we thought for us. All right. 자 일단은 초 가공 식품 초라는 뜻의 ultra가 들어가고요. 그 다음에 processed foods가 가공 식품 어, 발음만 주의하시면 될것 같아요. Ultra가 아니라 ultra. ultra. Yes. 자그 다음에는 이제 uh, people who eat a lot of ultra processed foods they have a higher risk of being diagnosed with lung cancer yes and if you're diagnosed with something this is an official medical term mm. which means the doctor or whoever the medical professional is saying you have this illness or you right. have this condition you have this disease i have checked your your vitals i have checked your blood or whatever mm. it may be and i can conclusively say this is your problem that's your diagnosis mm -hmm. diagnosis 그러니까 바로 진단이 되겠고요 be diagnosed with something 이라는 것이 이제 어, 어떤 질병이라든지 어떤 것으로 진단을 받는 것인데 이 경우에는요 어, 이제 lung cancer입니다. 그래서 폐암, 네. 폐암이 있다라고 의사가 진단을 하는 것이죠. 그래서 아까 헤드라인에서 어떻게 해석을 했냐면은 어, 폐암이 발병했다 이렇게 해석을 할수 있겠죠. If you're diagnosed with this, then that means you have it. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, here's the headline again. A new study suggests that people who consume the most ultra-processed foods have a 41% higher risk of being diagnosed with lung cancer than those who consume the least, even after accounting for factors like smoking. Here's our final headline. A newly discovered 40-centimeter long stick insect has surprised scientists with its size and weight, which is close to that of a golf ball, and is now believed to be heavier than the giant burrowing cockroach previously considered Australia's heaviest insect. 길이 약 40cm, 무게는 골프공 수준인 44g에 달하는 기다란 모양의 벌레가 호주에서 처음으로 발견돼 학계가 놀란 가운데 이는 종전까지 호주에서 가장 무거운 벌레로 기록된 거인 굴 바퀴벌레보다도 더 무거운 것으로 알려졌습니다. Yeah. Oh uh, Australia and New Zealand are home to some really weird insects um, and some very big ones as well. But yeah. this is an amazing find. Uh, it's a female of the species. Okay. They haven't found the male yet and they're looking for the male. Mm. The problem is, like mm. with some other species, some species of fish and other reptiles and, and other, other insects, mm. the female is larger than the male. So the male is actually going to be harder to spot mm. because while they do weigh 44 grams, they're very thin. Yeah, yeah. They look like sticks. Exactly. This stick insect is the stick of the stick. The stick of the stick is the stick insect. So you can think of the image of the stick insect. Yeah. Oh, Sue, what's brown and sticky? I don't know. A stick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this stick insect, it's, as you said, huge, but maybe it's not as huge as uh, the, the male. Counterpart. No, 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 the male is smaller. Right, right. So yeah, the female is bigger. The female is, bigger. is, yeah. is, is bigger. Yeah. So, right, so right. what we have is this, this species, this newly discovered species, mm. the biggest of its kind, and, and certainly seems to be Australia's heaviest insect now. Okay. It's believed to be that. What well, we that think mean? it is. We're, 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 we're not 100% sure, so. Yeah, because we, 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 don't be know, we don't know. We don't know. And we haven't seen every single living creature on this planet. There could be a bigger stick insect. There could be. But and for it, the moment. Yeah. For the moment, this is what we believe. That's right. So this is, I think, I think this is a really good expression to know mm. when you're not 100% sure. Mm. When you can't say for certain, we can say this is believed to be whatever it is. Mm. When you want to qualify that uh, there could be another one out there, but yeah. for the moment, this is what we think. Exactly. Uh, believe to be라는 거는요. 이렇게 
어, 사람들이 생각한다. 지금까지 우리 인간이 발견한 벌레 중에서는 예, 호주에서 가장 무거운 것으로 그렇게 보여져요. 그렇지만 100% 이렇다라고 말하기는 좀 애매한 게 우리가 모든 이 지구상에 존재하는 벌레를 또다 알고 있는 건 아니니까 그 여지를 남겨두는 거죠. So this is believed to be the heaviest insect, and it's bigger than the burrowing giant burrowing cockroach. Well, heavier. No, Not sorry. Necessarily bigger, That's but heavier. Right. That's right. Uh, heavier than that one that was previously considered Australia's heaviest insect. Yes, and if something is previously considered something is mm. we thought it was that before and now we've changed our mind. Because mm. previously means before, yes. and if we consider something to be something, we think of it that way. We think it is that thing. So it's the same as saying believed to be. Uh, yes, yeah. it was believed to yeah. be, but now is not. Mm. Yeah, previously considered. That's right. Uh, 기존에, 이전에는 이렇게 여겨졌었다. 그러니까 기존에는 giant burrowing cockroach가 호주에서 가장 무거운 벌레로 여겨졌었지만 지금은 아까 얘기한 이 stick insect 가 가장 무거운 것으로 여겨진다. And in, 뜻이네요. Important question, Sue. Mm. Which one would you prefer to hold? The If stick you... insect. <웃음> of course. I don't want to go anywhere near a cockroach. It's a, it's a cute one. A giant b o r r i n g cockroach. To me, the word cute cannot go in the same sentence as cockroach. Okay. I But mean... I respect... You know, your views on cockroaches, very strange, but if you find them cute, so be it. I mean, they're prettier than sticks. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> Let's agree to disagree. I'm going to read this one more time. A newly discovered 40 centimeter long stick insect has surprised scientists with its size and weight, which is close to that of a golf ball and is now believed to be heavier than the giant burrowing cockroach, previously considered Australia's heaviest insect. Well, that's it for the headlines with Paul Matthews.